Hi, welcome to Thunder Lakes. I'm Micah, and today we're gonna go check out the Rost Martin RM1C. This is a really cool little gun. We just got one in. Um, I've read some reviews on it, done a little checking out on it, and it seems pretty impressive. Most of the people that have reviewed it really like Let's it. Let's start off with the basics. It's a nine millimeter, it's four inch barrel. It's very, very comparable in size to say a Glock 19. Really, really similar. It's like five inches high, seven inches overall length. So very comparable to a, to a Glock 19. Um, it is a striker fire, 15 and one in the mag. And then we also have the uh, extended mag over here. Really clean, the mag goes in and out nice. No complaints there. It is an ambidextrous mag and it is a ambidextrous uh, frame release. So it's a fully ambi gun which is a real nice thing for you lefties out there or for you righties that are left eye dominant and have to shoot lefty. So really nice features there. This thing does have a ton of features for what it is and for its price point. First thing, let's start at the top and work our way down. We'll go with the sights. The stock sights on it, they are serrated. Just a regular dot sight with a black background. I don't mind that at all. It comes up, pulls up, I get a nice clean sight picture. Works good for me. If you were to want to upgrade them, you don't have to go out and find something, you know, that says Ross Martin on it. It's the same sights as the Springfield XD series. So there's plenty of them out there, plenty of them available. Any of the Springfield XD sights work for the replacements. Moving right down from there, we get to the optics plate. It is optics ready. Um, it comes pre-cut for an RMR and it comes with a mounting plate, screws, comes with the, uh, looks like star drives for it. So it's got that right with it. It's all ready to go. Don't have to buy extra stuff. Stop in, you know, grab a house and then throw it on there. I mean, you're gonna wind up with a really good, really good piece at a real decent price. Moving on. Uh, it does have a strike indicator. When it is hot, you can see the red. That it is charged, ready to roll does have a viewing window so with there's a cartridge in there you can look in there and see the brass cartridge know that you are ready to rock it's a nice little feature from there let's go to the trigger before we uh get into the takedown of it from the trigger is a nice flat base trigger center trigger safety if you will the feel of the trigger the feel of the trigger is uh not too it's not terrible it's it's a little bit long there's a little bit of pull to it but it does have a very crisp break, almost a glass break on it. And where this trigger really shines is on the reset. I mean, it's a short, very positive, loud click reset. You can very, very tactile. You can feel it and once you're there and you reset, it is that real crisp break right there. Nice trigger, I do like it. A um, little bit of take up doesn't bother me. I shoot a lot of double actions and stuff like that. So it doesn't really bother me and writing it off the reset is absolutely enjoyable. I do like that a lot. It does have an oversized trigger well with a slight in cut, which I got pretty beefy mitts, so um, I can get my hand in there nicely. And even if I was wearing some some light, light gloves, I would have no issues getting my finger in there on a trigger. They did put a nice landing pad for your index. With your trigger safety, with your trigger control, they put a nice landing pad, and if you're lefty, it works there too. Take down, just like a Glock. I always double check, make sure your chamber's empty, pull your magazine. I like to double check. Bring those down, bring it up, click it, tips right off. Super simple, very standard. Um, you know, everything comes apart, clean it, put it back together. Um, I did notice the barrel does seem a little bit beefier than some of the others. A very nice looking barrel. Everything seems really uh, well put together. I really like it. Very stock. I don't think the average person should have any problems whatsoever with it. The reassembly is just as easy as taking it apart. Put it back together. Boom, she's ready to roll. Just like that. Very standard stuff. The grip on it, I like a highly textured grip. I really enjoy some of the more aggressive grips out there. This is a little bit lighter on that. It's not bad. I think a lot of people would prefer this to the, what I prefer because I do like such an aggressive grip. 
Um, it does have a really good solid feel. This right here and on the back strap, uh, the stippling that they used really gives it a positive feel even though I want more. I always want more when it comes to that. But made in Dallas, Texas. Uh, the Ross Martin RM1C 9mm. I think this is a really great little gun. Price wise, I think it's really awesome. It's it's a really good uh, part of the market for that. A little bit cheaper than a, a standard Glock and definitely cheaper than a RMR caught cut Glock. The machining, everything, the fit and finish on it is really quite good for that price point. So swing in, check this out. The RM1C. I think it's a winner. My boss would give me one, I'd go shoot it and I could give you a shooting review. We'll see what it'll do. Probably not. Anyways, stop in Thunder Lakes. We got them here. Check them out. And uh, maybe you'll take one home. We'll see you.